In the days leading up to President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration, the FBI says it's been made aware of plans for armed protests set to take place in all 50 state capitals and in Washington, D.C. Now fears of more violence are escalating after last week's attack at the U.S. Capitol. Like you can see here in Wisconsin, extra security measures are being taken all across the country. The National Guard is gearing up to respond to issues as they occur, working with local law enforcement agencies providing support in their respective states. Plus, some 15,000 soldiers are deploying to D.C. to help provide enhanced security there on Inauguration Day, but also in the days leading up to it. Demonstrations are being planned online to begin as early as this weekend in several states and will extend all the way through Biden's inauguration, according to an internal FBI bulletin. The bulletin also warns some demonstrators are expected to be members of extremist groups, including white supremacists and other far-right extremists, and supporters of the Boogaloo movement, which advocates for a second civil war. Posts on social media have also been promoting a million militia march on the day of the inauguration in Washington, D.C. According to federal authorities, it's a tenuous balance between protecting free speech and preventing the incitement of violence. But after last week's assault at the Capitol, there's little room for error. The Bureau said in a statement, our efforts are focused on identifying, investigating, and disrupting individuals that are inciting violence and engaging in criminal activity. According to defense officials, the Army has also been working alongside the Secret Service in determining which Guards members to deploy to the Capitol and doing additional background screenings where necessary to ensure they will not be, quote, sympathetic to domestic terrorists. Reporting for Newsnet, I'm Abigail Taylor.